If I had my way, you would dare show your face here. If he swipes my drink again, I swear I'll swipe.
Watch yourself. Yeah, I'm working on my turn. Thought I'd catch some rays. Name's Morgan. I'm in the security business. Because I was one, I got out before I got killed. There was no one left to desert. My whole section got wiped out by the Jackdaws. Maniacs with artillery. The sergeant thought it'd be a good idea to take a shortcut through their turf, the old Royal Naval College. If that wasn't bad enough, he decided we should requisition a crate of their weapons. The storm was raging that night. He said they wouldn't notice us. We thought we were gonna make it. Nearly made it out of range of their artillery. If I was standing five feet to the left, I would have been blown to smithereens like the rest of them. I didn't feel like going back to the Imperial War Museum, hat in hand, having to explain and take accountability for my superior officer's actions. So here I am. Tough luck. My local employers are holding up in there until it's safe to come out. And since I need to be here to make sure no harm befalls them, I can't exactly go around smashing up Marlok's nests, can I? See ya.
see what I've got. Take a look. Farewell. Oh, hopefully the ferryman will get us some mitten lurk eggs soon. They're delicious. yourself. Yeah, I'm working on my turn. Don't want to catch some rays. Follow the rules, and you'll always be welcome.
Welcome, friend. Glad to see you. Excuse me. You me. Yeah. You are a you me, aren't ya? But yeah. Do you think you could do something for me? My belly has the rumblies that only a Lino's shroom pizza will solve. I'm sure you have much better things to do. But so do I, and the difference is that I'll pay you to get it for me. That is exactly correct. I'd like a shroom pizza. Not a fungus pizza. A shroom pizza. I've actually already placed the order. I just need you to pick it up. Had it made specially. Because I'm busy drawing. And a bit lazy. Plus, I said I'd pay you. My dad's loaded. So how about it? Will you swallow your pride and get me that pizza? I am eight years old. Please be quick. Nobody wants a cold shroom pizza. Surfing. Your kind does have two eyes, right? Now, what can I whip up for you? Specialty shroom pizza here, if you want to try something new. Did you get my pizza? Ew, no thanks. Just my pizza. Thank you for doing that for me. It's a little cold, but here's a tip. Nothing like a swim in our Thames to make you feel alive. does have two eyes, right? My hounds learned to swim today. So proud of them.
down. Feels almost biblical. Might not be a bad place for a quick kit. Mayday, Mayday. This is Captain Drew Mitchell from the Mary Alice. We're in distress over Newham. I repeat, Mayday. There's an emergency broadcast to any Allied British forces in the vicinity. We've encountered an EMP disturbance, likely caused by an atomic blast. The Mary Alice is losing control. Where the fuck is the RAF? If anyone can hear this, we need assistance immediately. The navigation is they done? Those people fire. needed some hope. Who are you, fire. anyway? Don't leave me. Not her fault. She's not like the others. Kicked me out of Thames Haven, they did. Couldn't stand a human living with them. I'm Archie. Scavenger by trade. The best locksmith in London. Hiding out. People have it in it for me, see? Especially the Isle of Dogs. All I did was trespass. And theft. Then a bunch of lunatics ambushed my crew. The whole city's mad. Sounds folk ain't too bad, though. So that's why you're here. Yeah, I know one. Barely managed to escape, though. Would have been dragged back there, too, if it weren't for the ferryman. You don't work for the lab, do you? Rough. I guess you want to hear the whole story. I was on a supply run near the Thames. There were six of us. One more than usual. We brought this ghoul along. Lazarus. He was supposed to be an expert. Said he knew the location of underground bunkers. And all these construction papers. Right for the taking, he promised. Turns out they aren't as abandoned as he let on. We were searching for the entrance when they ambushed. They used some kind of gas. Everything went dark. Later on, I woke up in a cell with that girl. We managed to pick the lock and escape, but we couldn't help the others. The scientists were too busy to notice us. I nabbed a guard's keys and we walked right out the entrance. The guards noticed, though. Chased me all the way to the Thames. Luckily, the ferryman was about to make a crossing. Saved my life. Thanks. I just hope everyone else is all right. I don't know, but they were bloody strong. A month ago, I'd say. Maybe two. Nah, I think the ferryman has them. Why? You aren't going there, are you? Yeah, you're probably right. Give a bell. The thing is, we never actually made it to the entrance. Lazarus was being cryptic. Probably thought we were trying to con him out of his share. I don't think we were close to the entrance when they got us. Everything after that just blends into one bad dream. I remember when we escaped, climbing up a ladder. It was dark out. I could barely see my own shoes. I climbed over some rubble, I think. They were chasing me, so I ran through the streets. I had no idea where I was going, so I just kept running. That's when I found the ferryman. We got separated, ran in different directions. Not really. It was dark and I was running for my life. And the gas. I only get confused when I try to remember that night. Maybe. It's been so long. If it means finding my friends, I... I'm willing to give it a go. I'd need the ferryman to take me back across, though. I don't fancy my chances on Tower Bridge, or in the foot tunnels. 
Here, you can give this back to the ferryman. He gave it to me so I could defend myself. My hands barely fit around the grip. Tell him thanks, but my weapon of choice is the bobby pin. Blimey, that's a lot of people. Haven, you are my pride and joy. If he's going to survive in this city, he needs every advantage he can get. He'll need to pick up a gun sooner or later. You can have it. It's not much, but it's reliable. I have no objections. Truthfully, it would be good for my conscience. There are places north of the Thames where a boy could live a normal life. The sanctuary at St. Paul's would take him. Though I'm not sure why you need him to cross. Whether I like it or not, the boy became my responsibility when he jumped onto my boat. And it seems I've taken him to one bad place after another. If I could find some good people to take care of him, I can wash my hands of this ordeal. That makes sense. I'll take him back there, but I'll need your help. While I was lying in my sickbed, a group of hooligans marched into Bermondsey and shut the gate. Getting through won't be easy, but it's the only route out onto the Thames. I suspect they're using it as a staging ground for raids. Bold of them to set up shop so close to a Tommy outpost. Getting through the gate should be easy. It's sailing through Hooligan territory that puts us one foot in the grave. You'll need to provide us cover fire. Will I get us out of there? The button that opens it is a bond that grows this. You can reach the button by lowering the crane. The way up is via a makeshift bridge by the riverfront. Be careful.
more bodies getting shite done. Never hurt anything. Please scribble down if you fancy a gander. Here you go. Wasn't an easy one to write, this. To be honest, I don't know. This writing stuff, sometimes it feels like it's opening up things inside, and I'm not sure what'll come out. I've not felt like this before. I shared this round the pub before, and some said they'd had dreams like this too. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why do we even do this sort of thing? Makes you wonder. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Did your mum teach you better? Lockheed, Sinclair, Peter, Black. Lockheed, Sinclair, Peter, and fucking Black. Wait, fella. You were a commando before. But right now, I need a butcher. You feel up to it? Some rotten meat. Rotten dogs, to be precise. Thomas Black orchestrated the Red Treaty. He's responsible for the death of my old man. And more besides. But he didn't do it alone. He's got himself plenty of muscle about, of course, but not so many brains. There are three lieutenants who helped mastermind the whole thing. John Lockheed, Enforcer Sinclair, and Peter the Fence. I want them all dead. More than dead. I want a fury on them. I want them turned into bloody sigils that spell out Black's doom. But I warn you, this is dirty work. And once you get started, there'll be a price on your head. Syndicate enforcers will start crawling the city for you. So don't you come back till the job's fully finished. Black is mine. You worry about this lot for now. Winston, Anthony and Johnny each have a lead on getting access to your targets. Speak to them to get started. And listen, these are proper public executions. I want you wearing your vagabond finest for these. Understand? We're sending a message here. Cross the vagabonds and fury awaits. So, you want to hear about how to kill that little fucker Lockheed? Head of security for the Syndicate. He's an evil bastard. No two ways about it. No stranger to any form of atrocity. He's done me some personal harm and all. Ain't no one I'd like to see suffer more than him. But he's a little guy, really. He ain't shit without his goons about him. Get him alone, and he can be stuck like a pig. Lockheed has a mistress he goes see down Millwall. Young bink called Meg. Well, young Meg has got herself hooked on some bad chems lately. And if she don't do what she's told, she ain't gonna get her next dope delivery. So, all you gotta do is go down to the house, get the place secure, then I'll come along and we'll put Lockheed through his misery. Hang about. You ain't doing shit, Winston. 
This is a dangerous mission, and I'm not having you go into enemy territory. So what? You're not the only one after revenge. I've got my rights. That shithead killed my family, and I'll be damned if I don't have my own fury on him. And I want it proper old school, too. I want every drop of blood from him. Easy now. You know my old man put a stop to that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, Gabriel's dead now, isn't he? You watch your fucking tongue or I'll have it out. I gave an order. You will obey it. No questions. And no back chat like that unless you want to meet your wife again. Puh. <laughs> you get all that, Wayfarer? Now on to your next target. Bullet tooth? Yes, boss? If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. All right, sunshine. Let's talk Sinclair. More like what? The woman's a monster. Sinclair heads the Owen Enforcer Division for the Syndicate. Punishments, chain gangs, child slaves, and worse. Ain't no one gonna be sad seeing the back of her. Least of all me. She done in my husband back at the Red Treaty. Word is, she took some bits of him as keepsake and all. She's based in a metalworks factory up north. I made some connections. Finally found someone that hates her more than they fears her. Go around the back of the factory, speak to a girl named Lexi. She'll let you in. There'll be some guards, and word is Sinclair has a big dog or something there. But not much security otherwise. Most workers are slaves. They'll run the first chance they get. Sinclair herself ain't to be trifled with. Try to get the jump on her, or things might get ugly. Once you've done with her, chuck the body in the furnace. She don't deserve a trace of her left. Hold up. I thought I told you I want the bodies out on display. But she's a monster, boss. I don't want to see her martyred. She should be erased and forgotten. And I say her bloody corpse should be strung up for all to see. Black should get the message that we're the ones to be feared now. That ain't right to me, boss. I'm not keeping you for your fucking ethical consideration, Anthony. Just do what I say. As you say, boss. Too right. Now, finally, Johnny. Watch ya. If I had it my way, you wouldn't dare show your face here. So, you want to hear about Peter the Fence? He runs a supply network for the Syndicate. He's a proper smart fella, with a ledger full of all the important contacts in London. All island dogs would fall apart without him, I reckon. Peter used to work with us back in day, before Black bore him out and he stabbed us in the bloody back. Took all our bleeding suppliers with him too. Peter regularly meets with some gentry contacts at a Westminster joint called the Enid. It's a fancy place. And Peter has his own back room for private dealings. Well, I pulled a feather with the staff to get you in. Just so long as you have no weapons on you. What do you mean? How's our butcher here going to do their work without weapons? Well, thing is, I've been thinking and Peter ain't a bad sort, really. Maybe we could just scare him off like... Send the Musselier to take his ledger and spook him out of town. Scare his contacts off too. We'll do just as much damage to the Syndicate. Have you gone soft in the shrapnel, Johnny? Peter is the enemy. No matter what sort he is, I want him dead. But we used to be mates like. He ain't no killer like the others. He's got a bit greedy, that's all. You're a weak piece of shit, Johnny. Listen, Wayfarer. Just get into this joint whatever way you can, and snuff the fucking lot. I want you to bring back that ledger covered in blood. You here? But he... No more lip from anyone. You got your orders. Get your business. Mind your P's and Q's or you'll mind my bullets. I wouldn't tarry if I were you.
Who is it? Oh, yeah, you look right. Come in. Oh, it's, uh, it's just the dealer, sweetie. Fucking chems again. Just hurry it up. I'm out. Just don't make too much mess and tell Chill he fucking owes me. Whatever you want. What a sniveling little cunt you are, Lockheed. Who's that? Winston? Oh, fuck. What a bleeding pleasure it is to see you too. I don't care what Gaunt says. I'm owed this. This sniveling cunt stain took everything from me. Gaunt ain't the only one that wants bloody revenge. You listening, Lockheed? After the years of pain you've caused me, it's time to settle the fucking score. Please, no! Just kill me! I've heard the shit you vagabonds do. Just kill me now! Shut it, you twat. You don't know shit about what's coming your way. You're a good sport, Wayfarer. I'll remember this. Shut the door on the way out, will you? And don't wait up for me back home. Wait, no! Don't leave! Just kill me! Don't leave me with this fucker! You don't know this sick shit he'll do! Oh, careful now. You'll hurt my feelings. Touch me again, and there'll be consequences.
After. Oh, you the butcher, is you? Right, keep your gob down and come over here. In here. Quiet line. You're trapped in the maze now, Ratty. And I'm going to watch you scurry about.
Stop. 
shot. No idea. Funny bugger, is it? <laughs>